Thomas, thank you for taking the time to sit together with us and um, speak a little bit about the full year results 2022. We just published results for the past year. Um, can you tell me from your point of view, what were some of the highlights? No question, Daniel. Uh, the highlight of 2022 was the solid growth we achieved, solid financial numbers uh, we, we achieved. So we had a growth of 5.7%. We were lagging a little bit behind in the first half year, but we made up with a very strong second half. Behind this growth is the hard work of everyone at Bach. And for this hard work, I thank you personally, but also in the name of the Corporate Executive Committee. What's more, in 2022, we were able to close contracts for long-term supply agreements for peptides. And in addition, we could engage in a partnership to develop novel equipment for oligonucleotide manufacturing with one of the most renowned uh, pharmaceutical companies. So all this makes it a really good year for Bakken. If we look at 2022, the company grew its sales. Um, the sales didn't grow as much as they had in some of the past years profitability was a little bit down as well so how should we put that into context close observations daniel we could have imagined to have a little bit stronger growth in 2022 but you also have to take in account that barkham as a company is in a very lively transformation process we bring in a lot of new folks we have a lot of demand going forward, so we are changing as a company. And this change is an individual change for all of us. So 2022 was certainly not a break for us, but it had a little bit of a year where we transform as a company, where we learn. And I'm absolutely certain we will unleash this strength in the coming years. Speaking of the future, what can we expect from the year 2023? Looking back to the last sentence, I, I think it's clear. We want to grow a little bit stronger than we did in 2022. And we see growth in all segments of our business. So the generic should be strong, but also the new chemical entities. And especially we see a push into larger volume manufacturing. So altogether, I think it's a very positive pictures we have for 2023 and the coming years. What is the biggest challenge at the moment for the company? What is the biggest challenge for the management team? I think it's clear. There's demand out there in the market. So the question is whether we can fulfill that demand or those customers going somewhere else. And for me, it's absolutely clear this demand should come towards Falcon. Thomas, thank you very much for taking the time to uh, speak with us today. I look forward to continued conversations and dialogue throughout the year on, uh, on uh, these and, and other topics. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Thomas.